Hello everybody, I'm Brian York with uh, Yorkie Moto Garage. Uh, today we're going to be making the battery pigtail. A lot of people want to know how to make these. It's pretty simple, you can get, get some pretty cheap parts. I get these uh, fuse blocks off of uh, eBay. I usually get six or eight of them a time for five or six bucks. And then I get the micro fuses that goes with them. Uh, I usually get a seven amp. And we're gonna go ahead and just put this together, screw it together. And it comes with the red pigtail on both ends of it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make, I buy these also off of eBay. They're simple, you buy them in a kit. You can buy the female and male, or you can buy just the female. But here's the original. The, they look exactly the same, except for this one's got a little tab on it. That doesn't affect the way that it plugs in. Uh, it's basically the same connector. If you can look at it, this, the ends of it, they're, they're basically the same connector. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to strip the end of this wire here. Let me see if I can get this down here where, 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 where you see what I'm doing. Also, I also want to tell you that uh, I don't use a... If I wanted to go back original, I could use a, a battery where you had to fill up the acid and do it that way. But I don't do that. I get these at Walmart. Ten bucks. They're back in the um, hunting section. Sometimes they're kind of seasonal. They don't have them a lot. But it's got the little tabs on the front. Now what I do is I crimp these wires on here. And I'll put like a, uh, a 90 connector. I get these on eBay too. These little 90 connectors. And uh, basically they're, they're really simple. Once you get them crimped on, you know, they look really nice on the bike after you get these connectors on there. But, uh, you know, it helps, helps routing your uh, wires a little bit better. I get these on eBay also. Uh, you, you search for 90 female connectors, you'll find them. Uh, okay, so now what else, else I do is I have a industrial commercial crimper. I use this, this top die right here. And that crimps these little uh, connectors, little spade connectors. I get those on eBay also. Um, so what I'm gonna do right now here is I'm gonna go ahead and strip this wire. And the way you wanna do this is you want this wire to go inside the top part of it, the wire needs to go in, and the back part of it, the red needs to be in the last, in the end connector so that it crimps the insulation. The front part needs to go into the metal. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this crimper here and I'm gonna crimp this down real quick. You put it down on here like this and then you crimp it down. See there, it's, it's, it's crimped. Okay, do the same thing with the back one. Okay, so now we have a nice, easy, nice crimp connection, no soldering. Now what we wanna do is compare this and find out where this wire is supposed to go, okay? So the red wire is gonna go into this back fitting on this side, so. And you wanna turn this, it's got a little clip on the inside of that metal piece, and you wanna make sure that this is going in properly so that the metal piece goes in and clicks into that connector, and once it's in there, then it's locked, see? It's nice and locked. Okay, so this fitting is done. Okay, so now what we wanna do is there's a black jumper wire on this side of it. We want to make this black jumper wire. That's basically saying that if, if your bike does not have a battery in it, it will still run. When you unplug the battery, as long as you keep this connector plugged into that battery, and see, these, these are the wires that the battery plugs into. As long as you keep this connector plugged into the battery, your bike will run. Your headlights won't work. Well, they will to be very dim. And, and your lights will work, but just off the generator. It won't work very well. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and make this plug right now. I've already stripped one side of it and put the connector on there. See how nice that is? We're going to do the other side of it real quick. By the way, uh, I hope everybody had a good Christmas. Um, I had an awesome Christmas. 
even though we had to stay home. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and crimp this real quick. And these crimpers are also found on eBay. Uh, there's the number on it. But uh, they're, they're, they're a really nice little set. Uh, comes in a little carrying case. Comes with lots of different dies. Um, you can change it out and use different dies on different connectors. But for this, it works really well. Okay, so here we are again. We're gonna take this here and look at this and see where this wire is located. Okay, so we are locating this wire on these two holes right here. So here again, we're gonna take these here and put them in the slots where they're supposed to go. Okay, so there is your jumper. It's all done, nice and tight, won't slip out. Okay, now you've got another wire. So what I'm gonna do is, what I do is I take these old wiring harnesses off the bikes. Instead of getting rid of the, re, uh, the uh, old wire harnesses, then I keep those. And this wire is really good soft wire. So it's always great for using battery pigtails and stuff. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this and I just cut pieces out of that old harness and use those because the wire is so good. Okay, so we're going to do the exact same here as we did there. Um, I cut the wire just a little bit too long. You don't want to cut that wire very long. About, about, about right there is about the length you need it. Okay, so we're going to take our end here. And we're going to crimp it the same way. We'll crimp the front and then crimp the back. Your insulation. See right there like that. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we got one more hole left. So, we know that that wire is going to go in there. And... I'm gonna take this and stick it in here. Okay. So basically, it took me what? I don't know, 10 minutes, five minutes, seven minutes, somewhere. Uh, your pigtail is done. Basically, I've got, I don't know, five bucks in this thing maybe. But wow, I mean, so then you take your ends right here, put your red and your blue on there, and then, uh, I'm not gonna do that until I get it actually on the bike. But, you know, you crimp your ends on there like that and then get all your wires right on your bike. Cut it, crimp it, put them on your battery, plug your battery in into your uh, harness and you're good to go. So anyway, I hope this uh, video was helpful for you. Uh, I've done several of these and they've worked out really well. If you like my uh, video, please subscribe to my channel. Get all your friends to subscribe to my channel too. Uh, I haven't done any videos for a while, but um, I'm hoping to do some more in, in the uh, future. So uh, thank you all very much for tuning in and appreciate you watching. So thank you all very much.